Rotavirin is a medication that is classified as antispasmodic agent. This medication can be used to relieve smooth muscle spasms. However, this medication is not an anticholinergic agent. Normally, anticholinergic agents can be used as antispasmodic agents as they produce relaxation of the smooth muscle. However, these anticholinergic medications can produce few side effects like dry mouth, blurred vision and urinary retention. Such type of side effects are not observed with drotaverin as this medication is not an anticholinergic agent. Instead, drotaverin belongs to a chemical category of isoquinolines and this medication is related to one of the natural medication papaverin. Papaverin is coming from opium alkaloids and drotaverin is a medication that is related to papaverin. However, this drotaverin is not an opioid and it is particularly used to treat uh, muscle spasms. This medication can be used to relieve the muscle spasms that are related to gastrointestinal disorders. Therefore, it can be used to treat intestinal colic, spastic constipation and even the spasm associated with irritable bowel syndrome. It can also be used in the treatment of cholelithiasis, the formation of gallstones, which produces biliary colic. Rotavirin acts as an antispasmodic agent, thereby it can produce a relaxation of the smooth muscle and it reduces the pain associated with the biliary colic. Similarly, this medication can also be used to relieve the pain during menstruation. So this condition called dysmenorrhea, in the management of dysmenorrhea, again rotavirin can be used. As it acts as an antispasmodic, rotavirin can also be used to relieve the renal colic and even in a few settings, it can also be used to control the labor pain. In this way, drotaverin can be used in relieving the pain that is associated with the smooth muscle spasm. This medication is having few advantages compared with other antispasmodic agents. First, it is not having the anticholinergic side effects that can be observed with few medications like uh, atropine or hyosin. These two medications are anticholinergic agents that produce important side effects like dry mouth, constipation, blurred vision and urinary retention. Such type of troublesome side effects are not observed with rotavirin. Second advantage is that this medication can be used to relieve the muscle spasms that are related to gastrointestinal muscles as well as genitourinary system. Therefore, it have multiple clinical indications compared with the anticholinergic agents. Third advantage is that this medication is available as both oral route as well as intravenous route. So whenever immediate action is required, drotaverin can be given by intravenous route. Finally, another advantage of drotaverin is its safety profile. This medication can be safely used in people with glaucoma or prostate enlargement as this medication is not producing any increase in the intraocular pressure or increase in the symptoms of prostate enlargement. Therefore, drotaverin is widely used as an antispasmodic with better advantages. Now let us see how this medication works. Drotaverin is a phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor. This is one of the metabolic enzyme that is responsible for metabolism of intracellular cyclic KMP. Normally, the cyclic KMP plays an important role as a secondary messenger in mediating functions of many cells including smooth muscle. When the cyclic KMP levels are elevated in the smooth muscle, it can produce relaxation of the smooth muscle. However, this action is mediated by different mechanism in the smooth muscle. The cyclic KMP causes phosphorylation of few of the proteins MLCK, myosin light chain kinases. The phosphorylation of MLCK results in their inactivation. Actually, MLCK should be activated such that it can phosphorylate the MLC myosin light chains. Cyclic AMP produces inactivation of one of the protein MLCK, myosin light chain kinases. Normally, this protein is required for contraction of smooth muscle. When calcium levels are elevated in the smooth muscle, calcium forms a complex with calmodulin. This calcium calmodulin complex can activate the MLCK. Once this enzyme is activated, it can cause the phosphorylation of MLC myosin light chains. So MLC is converted into MLC phosphate. Now in the phosphorylated form these myosin light chains can combine with actin 
to form a actin myosin light chain complex this complex results in the contraction of the smooth muscle this contractile mechanism is blocked by cyclic amp cyclic amp produces inactivation of the key enzyme mlck once this enzyme is inactivated myosin light chains are not phosphorylated that prevents the contraction of smooth muscle however the action of cyclic amp is limited by its metabolism within the cell phosphodiesterase 4 or one type of enzymes which are responsible for conversion of cyclic AMP into AMP. Now, drotaverin selectively blocks this phosphodiesterase 4 inhibitor, thereby prevents the metabolism of cyclic AMP within the smooth muscle. This increases the cyclic AMP levels, which results in the relaxation of the smooth muscle. This relieves the muscle spasm as well as pain associated with the muscle spasm. In this way, drotaverin can act as anti-spasmodic agent. Now let us the precautions of this medication. Protavarin should be carefully given in people with uh, any cardiac disease. Since this medication is going to inhibit the phosphodiesterase type 4 enzyme, it can increase the cyclic AMP levels in the various organs leading to few of its side effects. Particularly, it can increase the cyclic AMP levels in the vascular smooth muscle which results in the vasodilation. This results in the reduction of blood pressure leading to hypotension. Therefore, when drotaverin is going to be used, the blood pressure should be monitored and any significant of and any significant reduction of blood pressure should be immediately treated. Second effect of drotaverin is on the heart. As it increases the cyclic AMP levels, it can also increase the contraction of cardiac muscle. The cyclic AMP is having the different role in the smooth muscle and the cardiac muscle. In the smooth muscle, it produces relaxation, but within the heart, it can increase the cyclic AMP mediated contracting mechanism that results in the increased rate of contraction. Therefore, drotaverin can increase the cardiac contraction leading to development of arrhythmias. So with very higher doses, it can increase your heart rate and in people with any pre-existing risk factors, it can develop cardiac arrhythmia. Another important precaution of drotaverin is its effect on alertness. This medication can produce some dizziness and drowsiness and it can also reduce the blood pressure leading to hypotension. So this may reduce the alertness or even it can produce some imbalance while you change your posture. Therefore, while using this medication, care should be taken while you are going to driving the vehicles or doing any machine operations. Now let us see where this medication is contraindicated. Protavarin should be avoided in few situations where it produces significant side effects or it can increase the complications. Particularly in people developing any hypersensitivity towards the drotaverin, this medication should not be used. Second contraindication is in the people with the significant hypotension. Since drotaverin can reduce the blood pressure in people with pre-existing hypotension, this medication is contraindicated. Drotaverin can be secreted into the breast milk. Therefore, in the lactating woman, Again, this medication is contraindicated as full safety of this medication is not established in the infants. Already we have discussed that drotaverin can increase the cardiac contraction. So in people with any severe cardiac impairment, this medication should be avoided. Drotaverin is extensively metabolized in the liver and it is mainly excreted through the urine. Therefore, in people with liver and kidney impairment, this medication should be avoided as it results in the accumulation of this medication in the body. With increased accumulation, drotaverin can produce few of the toxic effects. Particularly, it can produce excessive drowsiness and hypotension. That's why in people with uh, liver or renal impairment, this medication should be avoided. Now, let us see the side effects of this medication. Drotaverin mainly produces dizziness, drowsiness and hypotension. This hypotension is more pronounced when it is given by intravenous administration. It can also produce headache, nausea and palpitations. Few of the allergic reactions may also possible with use of drotaverin. Drug interactions. Since this medication produces hypotension, it should be carefully given with other medications like vasodilators. Many of the vasodilators can produce significant hypotension and even they can induce 
postural hypotension or orthostatic hypotension therefore with such medications drotaverin should be carefully used another drug interaction is observed with levodopa drotaverin can reduce the efficacy of levodopa levodopa is used in the management of parkinson disease it can reduce the tremor rigidity and bradykinesia this medication mainly increases the dopaminergic action by converting into dopamine in the cns however when drotaverin is simultaneously used the efficacy of this medication can be reduced that can worsen the symptoms of parkinson disease this interaction may be due to effect on phosphodiesterase enzyme inhibition now let us see the doses of this medication drotaverin is available as a tablet as well as solution for injection as a tablet it is available at a strength of 40 mg and this medication when it is given by oral route it is rapidly absorbed and it shows fast onset of action within 30 minutes when it is given by intravenous route it can produce quick relief of uh, muscle spasm for treating muscle spasm and to relieve the pain this medication can be given at a dose of 40 to 80 mg given 2 to 3 times per day so it can be taken either one or two tablets based on the severity of the condition and the dosing frequency may be either two or three times per day when it is given by intravenous or intramuscular route it is given at a dose of 40 to 80 mg in the children with age less than 1 year this medication is not recommended and in the children above 1 year the dose may be fixed based on their body weight and the severity of the condition what is drotaverin drotaverin is an anti spasmodic agent that is belonging to the class of isoquinolines it is a papaverin related medication how this drotaverin acts drotaverin acts as a selective inhibitor of phosphodiesterase type 4 enzyme by inhibiting this enzyme it increases the intracellular cyclic amp levels which produces relaxation of the smooth muscles what are the clinical use of drotaverin drotaverin can be used to treat smooth muscle spasms and it can also relieve the pain associated with these muscle spasms it can be used in the treatment of dysmenorrhea renal colic biliary colic spastic constipation and even gastroenteritis what are the important what is the important precaution of this medication since drotaverin produces hypotension and increases the heart rate it should be carefully given in people with the risk of hypotension in people with risk of hypotension and cardiac arrhythmias what are the important side effects of this medication it mainly produces dizziness drowsiness hypotension palpitations as important side effects so that's all about this medication drotaverin i hope this video is useful to you if you if you really like this video please subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends post your comments in the comment box thanks for watching see you in the next video